the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. Human rights activists are calling on Asa province in Indonesia to release four people arrested on suspicion of being gay. Authorities said the suspects, which include a transgender woman, were rounded up by vigilantes and if found guilty could face up to 100 lashes. New Zealand has passed a new law to expunge the historic convictions of men charged with having gay sex. Applications can be made by the victim or their family and would be given if the same incident would not be considered illegal today. America's CVS pharmacies are being sued after accidentally disclosing the HIV status of 6,000 customers in Ohio. The suit claims the company sent letters about participation in an HIV treatment program with the recipient's status clearly visible through the envelope. Grindr has said it will stop sharing its users' HIV status after it was revealed the company was sharing profile data with app developers. The dating service, which has around 3.6 million users, so they do warn people that profile data would be made public. And finally, Will & Grace producer Max Muchnick has sent a copy of John Oliver's Gay Bunny book, A Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo, to every elementary school in Indiana. The book is a spoof of Mike Pence's version, A Day in the Life of the Vice President. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines.